adamant fortress has stood against the Darkspawn since the time of the Second Blight. Fortunately for us, that means it was built before the age of modern siege equipment. A good trebuchet will do major damage to those ancient walls. And thanks to our Lady Ambassador... Lady Cyril of Jader was pleased to lend the Inquisition her sabers. They've already delivered the trebuchets. That is the good news. If the fortress is vulnerable, let's just pound it to rubble. Even with a trebuchet, that would take months. That gives Eremond more than enough time to summon his demon army. The Inquisition forces can breach the gate, but if the Wardens already have their demons... I found records of Adamant's construction. There are choke points we can use to limit the field of battle. That's good. We may not be able to defeat them outright. But if we cut off reinforcements, we can carve you a path to Warden Commander Clorel. Taking this fortress is going to get a lot of good soldiers killed. Our soldiers know the risks, Inquisitor, and they know what they're fighting for. It'll be hard fought, no way around it, but we'll get that gate open. It's also possible that some wardens may be sympathetic to our cause. The warriors may be willing to listen to reason, though I doubt they will turn against Clorel directly. The mages, however, are slaves to Corypheus. They will fight to the death. We've built the siege engines and readied our forces, Inquisitor. Give the word, and we march on Adamant.
Why do you poison her? You have your way in. Best make use of it. We'll keep the main host of demons occupied for as long as we can. Whatever it takes, Cullen. If we lose here, we lose everything. Understood, Inquisitor. Warden Stroud will guard your back. Hawk is with our soldiers on the battlements. She's assisting them until you arrive. <laughs> There's too much resistance on the walls. Our men on the ladders can't get a foothold. If you can clear out the enemies on the battlements, we'll cover your advance. 